Welcome to the WBPL 76. Thank you for joining me, Darksteel Hula Hoop, and with me today is a actual returning co-host. So that's where I hid the body. Oh, oh shit, we're live. Hi, it's uh, Striker. How are you guys doing? Are you having a third conversation? <laughs> uh, you know what? You don't worry about that. Okay. No one ever wants to have me come along to bury the bodies, just because I steal a bone every now and then. Okay, I understand that's a digger's fee, and I'm not willing to pay that. But how else am I supposed to build my bone golem? Well, you're just going to have to find some uh, previously used bones, and not ones that are just, you know, fresh in the ground. Okay, uh, let us continue. Uh... This endless river tour. Uh, last last time we were on, I had Foxy with me, and I had really messed up the boat. So hopefully we don't uh, just sink just fresh into this uh, stream. So I don't want to restart again, but I will. This is the game I will stream until we finally beat this stupid campaign. I tell you, finally get this Girl Scout to her cookie corner. Okay. What do we get? Wow. What? She looks battered. Just wet. Not, not really too bad. I'll take your word for that. You should. Okay, I need... I need saplings, and I think I still need some rope. No, what I do have... you need a fucking rope for? I got plenty for rope right now, but let us make said rope. Please help me. Ah, oh, gosh dang it, I messed up. I, I clicked create all, and it consumed the stuff even in my raft stash. Oh, so you have a lot of rope now. Yes. Too much Fantastic. rope now. Sapling. Okay. Good enough for now. Well, it helped to keep important tools in the tactical load bearing pooch. Speaking of, I what need... is, does the pooch have? Hmm? What does the pooch have? It is carrying the raft hardware, schematics, uh, frames, a couple stitching kits, some spare food, and a empty jars. Okay, good. In case we die, and so at least the new girl will have something. Yes. Give me the sapling. You should dry her off. She looks wet. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's right. Oh, God. I forgot. This this uh, this place had far too many wolves. Oh, that's not a good thing. Uh, I guess just depart. Yeah, fine. Not Let's gonna go. re not gonna release the gimp. All right. Oh god, yeah. Well, we're that's at a good like, question. We're at thirty HP. That, that's a question. Could you put a knife on the dog? Uh yes. If I decide to build a spare knife, I could stick it on the dog, so it will just start off with a knife. Keep that in mind. Ugh. This music is reminding me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Of, uh. What is the game? Hard Space Shipbreaker, that's it. Really? The music. Oh, okay. Oh god, I don't, I don't, 
I don't have any of it. <laughs> oh, no. No old lumber or anything. That sounds like a bad choice. Why'd you do that? Uh, what do I need to make a repair patch? Can I make a repair patch? Uh, you need not rope, probably. I need lumber, nuts, and bolts. Oh. And to use all that for the rope. No, I mean, the rope just takes cattails. Okay, wait, okay. I, I, I got I to gotta interrupt with, with what Beerski brought up in chat. First time meeting my future mother and grandmother-in-law. We had an hour-long discussion about the pros and cons of gib suits. Okay, uh, mm. Beerski, you need to elaborate on this now. Yeah, you can't uh, just share something like that. Uh, yeah, hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a thing that's been brought up and should be explored in a cautionary way. But other than that... Okay, examine quilt. Quilt of tinfoil pat. Few folk were more convinced of others trying to control their thoughts than old Pat Earl. Been wearing a tinfoil hat to, de to deflect government mind beams about near 40 years when word came down about the evacuation. We reacted about how you'd expect. Bought all the aluminum a fellow could carry. Hunkered down in his bunker. Ain't been seen since. You know, you could probably make a nice boat out of all that aluminum at the moment. Mm, cattails, cattails. Give me all those cattails. I'm sure my dog wishes it was a real cat. But he's probably hungry. You give a little bit of the cattails. Take a bite into that. Forbidden corn dog. Water corn dog. Ugh. Man, I, I don't know. Cattails are... I see them all the time, but I'm like... What are they good for? In the wild. What are they useful? For the uh. ecosystem. Yeah, don't make me look this up because I don't want it. Because that means I. Because that means. Because that means I have work to do, and I don't want to do work. No work, it is okay. Ah, but then again, that's also something to add to my useless knowledge. Okay. What the hell are cat tails for? I just the underwater cat tails provide a safe haven for small fish and attract smaller aquatic creatures that birds and other wildlife feed on. Yada yada. What's the purpose of cattails? Provide important wildlife habitat, shelter. Okay, so birds, they're just, they're just uh, they just do plant plants. things. They just do plant things. Yeah. Ugh, plant things. Ugh. They serve no true purpose other than being vegetation. They are not cursed hot dogs, Bierski. They are forbidden water corn dogs. Difference. What but forbidden corn Sleep. dogs? Sleep. Yeah, it's fine. I just do not want to deal with the storm. Oh, of course. Hey, don't say I'm wet. I'm in the tent. How dare you? Hey, yeah, you should be able to dry off in the tent at least, you know? Okay. Uh, let's see. Nope. It's not. Okay, so let's... I need to eat and drink, and then we're off again. Because there wasn't hardly anything here.
depart from this place. Cat tails in oh. Australia are called cumbungi. Cumbungi? C U M B U N G I. Okay, uh, yeah, that is kind of weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, if you say so. I'll take your word for it. Oh, I can hear the snakes just from here. I should say. I'm doing pretty good, Thunderclap Sasquatch. How you doing today, Dark Steel? Tired. Mm. Oh, so tired. <laughs> I've been tired like the last like four or five days. Just... Doesn't matter what I do. How much you sleep? I'm just so tired, boss. Uh, I've only been able to get like four hours of sleep at a time, but I'll like take that a nap. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I know, I think it was Monday night, I forced myself to wake up because of a dream I was having. I, I, I usually chase my dreams too much, so. Yeah. Well, I... It was, and it was like one of those old dreams, too, that kind of comes back and circles around... I know it involved a school. And I forgot what I was doing there. But doing whatever it was I needed to do at the school would have been made me late for work on a month. Uh, uh, late for work. And for whatever reason, I realized that I knew I was in a dream, but yet at the same time, I know I couldn't, like, go back in time to alter, uh, doing the thing at the school. So I just remember just telling myself, you know, I, you know, wake up, wake up. I have to wake up just to make sure. And then I, you know, soon enough, yeah, I woke up. I mean, check the time. You know, I still had, you know, a few hours before my alarm went off. So it's just easy enough to roll over and go back to sleep. But still, it's just, it was, it was odd. Dude. It was odd. Uh, after, uh, after I, like, uh, I got fired from my job originally. I kept having dreams for like a month afterwards that I was back at the job. And I'm like, oh, I'm late. I'm like, no, I don't want to oh. go back. Yeah, oof, that's rough. It's always weird when an old dream or something like along those I lines, need. like kind of returns. I need to head back to the boat and make a bow so I can kill these two snakes. Is there some kind of snake trap you could just use? Uh, I haven't figured out how to trap the snakes. Like, you're supposed to be able to capture them live, but... Oh. Do I already have a bow? I do not. Not okay. Let's see here. Was that all my saplings? Oh, yeah, that's right. The that's boat. Ah, I forget. Ah. I used all my saplings on arrows. Why? You know, uh, you know, Sparrow, I can successfully say I have never had to do that in a dream, but I will take your advice on that. What? What did he have to do? Sparrow said, never trust peeing in a dream. You know what? <laughs> Sounds fair.
Oof. Oh no 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 no. Give me back give me back my trap. What's my prayer? Strange dreams interlinked from different perspectives. Ah, that no. sounds weird. Back. Oh god, oh god, back. Oh god, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh, oh, oh no. Where's my bandages? There. You are in the danger zone, aren't you? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. It just looked all red for from here, so. Yo, oh, yeah, I mean, I had a gashing wound, but I, I have a bandage, so it was fine. I fixed yeah. that. Okay, that's good. Rabbit hide. So I got a boar hide, wolf hide, boar hide. So. So what do I... Yes, I need leather kits. That is correct. A leather glove, maybe? I have boar hide gloves, but in order to use my wolf hide, I need to. I need to have a leather kit, which requires rabbit hide to make. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, we're, I am going to sink so hard. Let's see. All right, Sasquatch can load one. Okay, what I've been able to put together there was some sort of interdimensional conflict in each dream was from a different side of it. Each side would raid the others at random. My perspective was always from a group dedicated to stopping the said raids. Weirdest dream I've had lately... Being a librarian in a huge library and having to chase nudists out of the stacks. They were perched on the rocks like monkeys and climbing all over, using some sort of butterfly net to catch them. That is weird. That's weird, Sparrow. But that that multi-dimensional invasion, that sounds interesting as well. You know what the thing is? I can, I can remember most of my dreams. Really? Or not my dreams, my nightmares. Okay. Like going all the way back to when I was a, a kid, I can remember most of my nightmares. Hmm. And like looking back on them, it's like n not that scary, but still, it was a thing. I don't remember a lot of dreams, but there are some dreams that I do recall. Or at least ones that, um... Nope, like the one, alone, like most you ones... stupid boar. Well, poke the pig. Yeah, like, some of the most dreams I remember take place in, like, this whole convention hotel area. And I've been back and forth from there quite a few times. Dreams can get weird. Uh, yeah, they can. I have experienced extremes of emotion in dreams that I've never even gotten close to experiencing uh, in, like, real life. Wow. Like, a huge fit of anger or something like that? Uh, so, in the, in one of my dreams, mm -hmm. and the thing is, like, the emotion was technically felt by a different character, but it was me feeling the emotion. Okay. Uh, but we're like... We were going to this area, and we had to pass through, like, ruins, mm -hmm. I guess. Like, but it was, like, it was roped off sort of like a tourist attraction. 
Well, it's like, don't touch the ancient ruins, but you can, like, walk by and, like, look at them from here. And it was this, like, ancient, like, idol. Sort of like the uh, the demon on the mm -hmm. front of, like, the uh, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons okay. book. And it's, like, its head would track, like, everyone walking by. And the thing is, like, as I was leaving its, like, range of sight, it, like, glared at me, and I felt, like such hate and I'm like and I woke up I'm like wow I have never hated anything that much before wow wow that's interesting yeah so it's things like that where it's like never, you know, never experienced it in the waking world also, the dreams where you don't realize you're dreaming. And so, like, at least I know how to react to a certain situation. Like, when your car goes off a bridge and you're plunging towards the water, screaming. Because mm -hmm. you don't realize it's a dream. Hmm. Not fun. <laughs> Those ones are not fun. Yeah, yeah. But Bierski's ask, asking, were you at the secrets of the hidden temple? Uh, legends of the Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> no, but I did love that show as a kid, so you never know. Could have been influenced by that. Ah, did you know they made a Legends of the Hidden Temple movie? Yes, and I took, like, one look at the trailer, and I'm like, I don't want to watch this. Apparently, the host is in that. Probably. I, I only heard, like, the synopsis of it, but that was about it. I was never a huge fan of some of the game shows on Nickelodeon. Like, Nickelodeon. Yeah. Like, I enjoyed Guts and Double Dare. I think I liked the ones that were usually more physical oriented. Well, I shouldn't say that because uh, Nick Arcade was like a trivia show with video games. But then again, who didn't like video games? So that gets a pass, I guess. But yeah, I, I was never a big fan of Legends of the Hidden Temple. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. Then again, I wasn't a big fan of a lot of their uh, live programming, but... That's be but generally as a kid though I was usually just into the cartoon side of things too so you know what God bless Mark Summers for doing Double Dare because that man <laughs> it's not crippling but he has OCD bad but God bless him for being on a show like that he did his duty and entertained us all he did and just and just with all that slime too Oh no no no! Oh yeah, no. I watch I watch Cartoon Network as well. Angry right, so was, Beavers. And that was Nickelodeon. Yes. Do you know how they wanted that show? Do you know how they wanted that show to end? No. How? Oh, the creators, like like the creators, writers, and even the voice actors, everybody and everybody was on board with this, and Nickelodeon didn't catch on to like the end, like because everything that I'm about to share with you, they pretty much greenlit through and through up until, like, actually starting animating. But basically what it would have been would have been just a giant rip on Nickelodeon how they handled their shows and everything like that. Like, they would have completely demolished the fourth wall because the Beavers found out, basically found out that they were in a show and they were being canceled. Okay. So they, went, so they go off, on like, on a small tirade about, like, uh, well, what's it like to be canceled? Oh, it's not that bad being canceled. You know, they'll... Sure, we, there won't be any new episodes, but they'll still run the old episodes of Perpetuity Daggy Waggy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they basically just kind of explain that, like, well, they'll still show the episodes, but 
you know, as far as the creators, everybody else involved, you know, that's it. They won't get anything. The, the network will still make money, but, you know, we're done making money. They're done with us. And it was basically up until, like I said, like right about where they would have started to animate the episode. Nick was like, hey, wait a minute. This makes us look bad. <laughs> no, you're, you're you're not gonna run this. You're not gonna run this. But We're yeah, going you to can tell find... everyone that was the idea, anyways. Oh, oh no! You can find all. You can find the audio clips. You can find uh, storyboard animatics and everything like that of, of all of this. See, but the thing is, that makes Disney look or that makes the studio look worse when like that stuff comes out. That like this is what they wanted to do and. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Futurama should have stayed at only four seasons. <laughs> yeah, the I mean, the movies weren't bad, but... Movies were still thought, not great. <laughs> they weren't great, no, but I do like how they kind of tied things up in the end a little bit. It was it was a Comedy Central series that, you know, I, that probably shouldn't have, have been a thing. And now they're coming back to Hulu. They should have just ended at season four. Ah. Quill of Joe Coxcomb. Whenever you were meant to meet Joe Coxcomb, you had to tell him a time and an hour earlier. Time and hour earlier. So you'd only beat him there a little. Perfection ain't quick, he'd say, and it was true. He was an immaculate dresser. When the hour came for the evacuation, he didn't know what to wear for such an auspicious occasion. By the time, the time he had the right outfit sussed out, his ship had long since sailed. Oh, that's, uh... Mm. So can you, like, collect these quilts? No, they're, they're just little bits of story about, like, what happened uh. to the world. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, a rabbit. Said the rabbit will die. Because I'm going to set up a snare right above its little rabbity hole. Yeah. Hey, little bastard. Oh, we're gonna make a good sausage out of this this rabbit here. That's also that's that's something I've been doing as well was it this week. Meaning, starting yesterday was consuming a dangerous amount of ordinary sausage videos. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Time to leave. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Oh no, gosh, dang it! Can't you get like? Oh, oh, he got you. Stupid wolf. All right, sounds like you need to start making like pit traps or spike traps or whatever the fuck kills. I do, but the problem is, so I'm only seeing these things well after they've seen me, and there's packs of them. If there was only one, I could deal with it. That is true. Okay, let's go down to the next stop. Yeah, those gangly looking things are supposed to be wolves. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow there, Bloody Chaos 1990. Oh my god, that's probably, when they, the oh, no. that's probably when they were born. That makes me feel old. But welcome nonetheless, you whippersnapper. Wait, how old are you? Yeah, I'm old. Don't worry about it. I am talking fondly of 1990s cartoons, okay? That should give you enough clues on how old I am. Yeah, but I watched those too. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I made it through. Uh, did you... What was your favorite show on Toonami? Yeah, which era of Toonami? Because I, because the fur, the um, the Fat Tom, I guess you could call. What are you talking about? Moltar was the original host. Yeah, yeah, yeah but no one remembers him. I remember Moltar. 
What are you talking about? I've got a v- I've got VHS recordings of when Beast Wars was on Toonami. Because it took Johnny Quest off the air for a little bit for Beast Wars to premiere. And that was the uh, season two ending episodes they had. <gasps> what the frick? But I would say uh, I, I did enjoy uh, that's where I that's where I first uh, uh that's where I first saw that show. Oh, what'd you do? Did you blow up the raft? Oh, you found a burger stand. Or gas station? Work. Did you bork the game? It looks like it. Uh, you know what? Uh, that, like, took all the HP we had away. But you're not dead, though. Okay, I'll I'll try and make it to the next rest stop, but like yes. literally, if we bump anything, yeah, let's just let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Just uh, you know, load your dog up. You know what? Uh, I I would give the dog the knife. I I, I can't do anything while I'm on the boat. Until, I have okay. to be okay. Okay. Yeah, you gotta find Doc first. You gotta find a Doc first. I don't even have anything to repair. Watch out for that house. Wet cured? Well, that's good to know. You're no longer wet. Okay, I need lumber. Lots of lumber. Well, cut down those trees. Make your lunch. I, Go to the lava tree. I wish so much it would let me do that. <laughs> but no, that doesn't count. Oh god, the Pac-Man Christmas special. Yes, I remember that. Uh, I, I I had seen the Pac-Man like cartoon before, and I'm just like, this is stupid. This is so stupid. I do not want to entertain this silliness. No more. You can no longer stand it. I will have none of it. Take it away. Bring me only the best. Okay, yes. In the 80s, 90% 90 of the cartoons were made to push toys. And some of them were pretty cool. Plenty of nuts and bolts. I have salt? I guess I do. Yeah, I'll make some jerky. And let's make two. Yes, Bane, I do remember the Snorks. They were a creation to act not necessarily as a counter, but more of a balance to the Smurfs. You know what? This is going to bug me. It's going to bug me right now. Because I'm pretty sure they were animated by they were animated by Hanna-Barbera. I don't know if they were created oh, by Hanna-Barbera. What, what was that What was that series that had the talking buggy? Uh, you, you mean Speed Buggy? Yes. Speed Buggy. Okay. Okay. It was okay. It was produced by Hanna-Barbera, but was it created by Hanna-Barbera? Because I know Hanna Barbera did animation for some shows that were created by American Greetings, I think, and they were the creators behind Strawberry Shortcake. Education, yeah, early years development. Okay, yeah, okay, they were, they were Hanna-Barbera, they were, okay, they were Hanna-Barbera, probably. Okay, just quick little research to that. Alright, 
let's all right let me go let me catch up with chat a little bit here yeah remember the snork so what's up giants yep now let's see so, scooby-doo had the best crossovers ever okay you're talking about okay so you're talking about scooby-doo movies no, not even just the movies, just the specials where, like, they met the Globetrotters or yeah, the, yeah, several the, the, times the, the, they uh, met Batman. Or... Okay. Those were called the new Scooby-Doo movies, those hour-long specials. We're not talking about, you know, like, uh, Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the Werewolf or Scooby-Doo yeah, and the Master High School. You know? No, I'm not talking about those. I'm not talking about those. So. But, yeah. The thirteen ghosts. Yes, that was. Yes, that had Vincent Price on it. Yes. But, but yeah, like a, But to be honest, though, a lot of Hanna Barbera's um, catalog were Scooby Doo clones, like Jabberjaw, Speed Buggy, because they saw the success that Scooby Doo had, which was mission solving teenagers with the mascot. They just pumped that out, you know, show after show after show. Okay, so we're gonna make. A wolf hide jacket. Yes. Where? There you are. Uh, yes, that's right. Gilligan did have a Gilligan's plant. Yes, Josie and the pussy cats. Such a good do. To be honest, though, I was never really a huge Scooby Doo fan. Um, it, even it though it was a mixed bag for me. Yeah, just like I, I just was never a big fan of just Scooby Doo in general, I, and I really couldn't tell you. Uh, oh yeah, the Wacky Racers. Yeah, those. Yeah, w Wacky. Ra I did enjoy Wacky Races and the Laugh Olympics. That was always fun. Okay. Um, do I swap the jars for the yeah, jacket? Yeah, Flintstones and were, were very were very similar, but same shows, you're right. Uh, but Flintstones, I do believe, was first. And as a matter of fact, I believe Flintstones was the first primetime cartoon. To be honest. And even then, that was a reuse, reuse of the formula of the Honeymooners. And actually, they were supposed to be called the Flagstones, the Flagstones, or Flagstones, but they had to change the name because I believe there was already a radio show on at the time with a very similar name. Yes, they did sell cigarettes. I think it was Lucky Strike that the Flintstones sold. I can't remember now. See, yours here's still alive. You see, I did. I told you not to, you know, scrub the game. Mayhap. <laughs> Just lucky we found actual repair materials of that last uh, dock. Mm hmm. We had six HP. Six. Yes, th that is true. Uh, Flintstones was the longest running show, uh, primetime show until. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Simpsons, you're right, Full Mistake. See, the Flintstones, I mean, I liked it initially, but I'm like, the repeating animation frames actually got to me after a certain point. I'm just like, this is, I like the idea behind the Flintstones. I like the story for the most part, but just the animation eventually got to me. I mean, that was, you know, it was also the animation of its time as well and how. Uh, yeah, that's true. And how Hanna-Barbera did the animation techniques, everything like that. <clears throat> Oh, wait, no, no, no. Um, I agree. Oh, boy. Here, here we go. Uh, uh, whoa. Oh, that's a close. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. 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 You I, almost I, did. I, I only that took was, one hit. I only took one hit. Almost a yeah, but still, that was, yeah, that was a pretty good run, though. But yeah, only one hit, though, so. We're doing fine. Just fine. <laughs> I do a pretty good here, I, I, I definitely say. Okay, let's uh, snake. 
Give me the sapling. Or snake. Or dragon. It's the feral children again. Well met, Romer. Jen's got stick points. <laughs> Need one like? You two offering me arrows? Take free. We backwatchers. We watch you. Romer watch next. Act like sibs. Help trap. Help cook. Keep on. Someday all folks backwatchers. Got a kind thought for everyone, eh? Those are feral children. Is that child the possum king or something? He got a possum around his he, neck. He does have a crown and he is wearing a possum. Or is that a badger? Like, uh, I, I mean, it, it's like possum rat badger thing. It, it is general large size rodent, I guess. Jen's no shit. Good minded. Brain, brain polished. <laughs> Way that was, come again never. But stick together, could be better. Uh, just, oh. She, she is totally a shaman in training. Just the, the stick with the teddy bear tied at the top, the antler dagger thing. Yeah. He may be trying to eat his feet in that little animation. Yeah, who knows? I mean, thank God what you're never a kid who just kind of just rolled on your back like that. I remember doing stuff like that, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called being a kid. You're, you're an idiot. Appreciate the kindness. I'll do my best. Caretake, Romer. Why do, why why the swamp children always devolve into Yoda speak? What is it about the swamp that causes Yoda speak? Um, I mean, have you drank swamp water before? Exactly. Mm. It's the swamp water. Cook that yucca. Captain Caveman cosplay. That sounds amazing. That was like my five-year-old Halloween costume was Caveman. <laughs> Of course, when I was, uh, what was it? Like, eight, nine, I had the best costume ever, because my mom knew how to sue. So, oh, yeah. man, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I had a Squirtle costume, or a War Turtle costume, with a full shell. Bruh, that sounds cool. Blue face paint, all that. <clears throat> oh. So what did you think about the Ghostbusters cartoon and like just that series of cartoons that came out around the same time? Okay, I assume you're talking about the real Ghostbusters based off the movie franchise, or are you talking about the Ghostbusters? Based off of the 1960s live action series from Filmation. Uh, the, the real Ghostbusters, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I actually did a rewatch of it maybe a couple of years ago with the DVDs and, and even when they were on Netflix. And, like, at the very least, like, the first season or first couple of seasons, they hold up pretty well. Uh, they were well written, pretty well animated. Uh, you know, it was never really much like straight up. But well, again, it was an 80s cartoon where it didn't need the whole edumacation part of the uh, 
show. Wait, was that was that eighties? I thought that came around out at the, around the same time as the like the Men in Black cartoon and the evolution. Okay, you're thinking of the ex- you're thinking of Extreme Ghostbusters, which was that a continuation off the real Ghostbusters. Oh, so it actually was a continuation. Yes, yes. Uh, unlike other cartoons at the time, like the Ninja Turtles. Uh, Extreme Ghostbusters was a continuation off of the real Ghostbusters. And uh, the couple of seasons they had of that, pretty solid. They were pretty solid, I thought. Um, maybe a couple episodes here and there, but overall, I think it was pretty good. Uh, I actually enjoyed the Godzilla series that they did. Like It was based off of the bad Godzilla movie, but... The Roger one, yeah. But the series yeah, itself was actually pretty good. I th- think when the series was on, it ran on a time slot. I was watching something else, so I didn't. I don't believe I got a chance. I don't think I watched it all that much. Dude, just when they when they brought in Mechagodzilla, it was great because it was basically just a Frankenstein version of the Godzilla from the original movie. Like it was. Had a robotic arm and a, like a rocket oh. pod on his shoulder. Oh, jeez. They they resurrected the... Oh, oh. The a- aliens cool. did, yeah, because they, they actually brought well, in the I mean, aliens. Oh. Aliens always... Aliens were like usually always behind, like... In the later Godzilla films, always aliens doing this. Then you gotta, you know, team up with all the monsters or something like that and just, you know, beat them up and kick their asses. King Ghidorah. Uh, yeah, what, was, what was the other? Space. What was the other alien one? Was it Gigan? Gigan, yeah. The one with the saw blade in his chest. Yeah. Yeah, he was the other oh, one. Oh no, 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 no! Oh there. no, 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 no! Oh, did you find a lot? Of, oh, it's a bear. Yeah. Oh, he's doing this game. I I don't know. Meat, I don't know how many traps a bear will take. I mean, do you want to find out or just, you know, just call this place a loss and move on? No, I must find out. Besides, a bear a bear coat would be great. You must find what the bear what the bear secrets are. Did Babylon Fire have Jim Henson's workshop behind it? I think that was... Or or was that from Jim Henson, I think. Okay, we're going to risk all three of our uh, spear traps. Come on, bear. Come on. You'll know you... Come on. I'm I'm calling it now. You'll probably need five. Okay, Babylon 5 wasn't the one with Jim Henson. That Jim Henson was behind. Oh, here it comes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he tripped them all at once. Oh, God. Wait, he tripped them all at once? Yeah, oh, yeah. He oh, went, God. Yeah, we're oh, dead. I don't, yeah, I don't think it all took. Ah. Yeah, you should have spaced them out a little bit better, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I don't think I have any splints. Well, okay, yes. The answer is probably more than three, but I also think the answer was, uh, you know, don't put them right after another Leo. Let it hit. Let him stagger, hit, stagger, hit, stagger. I do not have... Oh, wait, no, I can make some splints. Come on. I think he just iframed through the no, other no, no, two no. traps. Uh, I'm probably going to die. Uh, yeah, I don't have another sapling. 
No, we'll take that. Edgar knows what he did, Sparrow. What the f- What'd you break? Oh, the bear! What the- Uh, it will not let me pass the bear. Okay. That was Far Escape. That was the one produced by Jim Henson. Oh, gosh dang. Just I'm mangling dead. you now. Yeah, uh, bear got gotcha. you. I might have bear to reload. Gotcha. Because apparently it activated all my traps at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you just put them too. You put them too close together. That yeah, because it's only got one trap sticking out of it, so it didn't yeah. count. Oh, now you're hungry. Are you, try, are you trying to die now? Is that what's going on? I don't... I... Oh. Hey, it's dead! The bear is dead. It, it doesn't matter, though. I cannot heal from all the broken bones. and. Well, let's just see what's in this cave before you die. Or if there's a boat in there. Two jars and a rag. Nice. That was worth it, wasn't it? No. Oh, God, no. Totally worth it. Right, chat? <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, let's see here. I do not accept this. <laughs> I do not accept this. <laughs> there we go. I'm even gonna put. I'm even gonna put a uh, a poll up for chat. There you go, chat. There's a poll for you. What are you trying to pull them? <laughs> well, I, it, it was totally worth fighting the bear. Chat has a choice. Let's see what chat thinks about fighting the bear. Other choices are yes, more yes, and hell yeah. Let's see what chat says. <laughs> Oh, so many saplings. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> ah, no. Oh, Fox is coming at us. He says no reloads. You made your bed. All right, maybe I'll put, you know, maybe I'll put another pull up, see if chat will let you reload or not. The only reason I don't accept out. that is because the game flipped out when it, the bear should have died. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to reload when the game breaks. <laughs> It's better your way to victory.
It's some gas power there. Oh, there's a pig. Oh yeah, chat definitely. Chat said hell yeah. They definitely worth taking that bear. Totally worth fighting that bear. Ah, what the heck? Uh, well, thank you for the advice, Foxy. We'll take that into consideration. Oh, what's Foxy saying now? Hmm? I ignore chat when it's convenient. Only fair you guys do it too. <laughs> uh, you are potentially fictional bear experts. Yes, chat. Okay, so let's make another arrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring the bow with us. Aha. And you're going to stick that pig. We're gonna no. We're gonna set up the uh, traps, but lure the bear with a arrow. Oh, okay. We're back at the bear. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. They're saying it was worth it to fight the bear, so we're gonna go fight the bear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, we're strategizing the bear now. Oh, we gotta hydrate. We gotta hydrate. Oh, I'm hydrating. Uh, very well. Sweet, yeah, sweet hydrate. artificial pineapple flavoring with Mountain Dew Maui burst. Mmm. Yo. Very well. Let us continue on this path of self-destruction. Bear traps. Uh. Okay, so we're going to set up a trap here. Mm -hmm. I just can't strap have bear traps. You think those would come in handy? Trap here. And then let's see if we can inch forward and build a trap slightly. Eh, eh, no, the no looks like he uh will not accept that. Okay, so we're gonna set it up back here. And from right here, Ouch. Oh, here comes the bear. Ah, ah, yeah, he did. Ah, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, so maybe all three of those did take, then. Because last time it was uh, three traps and an arrow that took them out. That doesn't make sense. I thought it was only three traps that were needed to take out a bear from the last time I played. Well, maybe they, maybe they buffed the bear or nerfed the traps. Mm. Mm. Now, check that cave. Hopefully there's something different than two jars. Two and a half jars. Ugh. I was close. I do not know. Ah, I can't even go over there. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Discard that. Do I have enough to make? Yeah, I'll have to make another spear trap. Oh, we forgot to wish Diggs happy birthday before he fell into the traps. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll get another chance to do that. Diggs doesn't get any cake. <laughs> he mauled me last time. Yeah, he did smack you on a little bit, didn't he? 
Well, I'm just keeping you on your toes, that's all. Okay, let's... He took my toes! <laughs> all ten of them! I wish you just gonna craft some. I'm gonna cook some yucca. Yucca. Is it pronounced yucca? I don't know. It just sounds funnier that way. Yo. Oh, yucca. Okay, so. Do I want to make a bear hide hat? hat. Or are you going to save the hat for the coonskin hat and be like uh, Davy Crockett? There are no coonskin hats in here, unfortunately. Well, fucking get a refund and turn this game back in. It ain't worth it more. Yeah, we're going to make the bear hide hat. Okay. I'm going to wear this bear's ass on my head. Gosh dang, I'm still not rated for how cold it is. Hmm. Do I put the hat in here? Yeah. Remember, hat goes on your head. Where else would you put it? Don't answer I mean, that I'm question. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. Uh, I guess let's depart. You're confident? Confident enough. Oh god, we're all gonna die. Yay! <laughs> Man, I mean, look at all this free real estate. Yeah, how can you just pass it all up? All oh, spooky eyes in the trees. Yeah, but those are on the outside. You're looking at the inside islands. Oh, here we go. Okay, go. And of course, it starts storming. Why does every time I hit the rapids, it starts storming? <laughs> Uh, to add to the suspense. Now, Reboot has a very complicated and long history uh, there, Spera. Reboot. Yep. <clears throat> Ooh, we found a thing. The harp's waning. Mulberry zoo saplings. That's I just took out. I just took out a mulberry bush from my dad's yard over the weekend. Oh, you actually have mulberries? Uh, yeah, he had one growing up where an old ash tree came down at. Yeah, not exactly sure where the mulberry came from, but I did not see any monkeys or weasels. I have too much stuff. Okay, let's discard the rotten meat. Hmm. I guess discard that. We don't need that many schematics. Are there schematics thing you, things you can learn permanently, or what? No, they're, they're used for the upgrades for the raft. Oh, I see, I see.
Live and bait. Well, you could sleep in the shack. That might not be a bad idea. Get uh, out of the rain. Dry yourself off. I mean, uh, my fatigue's at 70. I guess I could take a nap. But we'll take a nap on the boat. Ah. And let us depart. No. Gosh dang it. You just explored it, didn't you? No, I, I don't understand how the ship moves as soon as I undock. We're on calm waters. And rapids. Too much rapids. Nope. Eh. Yeah. Oh! I don't like any of this. That doesn't look fun at all, yeah. I can go, Poppy. Yeah. Oh, there's a wolf back there. Oh, a couple of them. We're just not dealing with that. Well, could you, you don't have a spear or anything like that, do you? I got the spear traps and I got the bow, but I don't know how many arrows it takes. Well, like, 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 just like a spear. Period. Those ones. Nope. Asking. Nope. I okay. got this walking stick with a bunch yeah. of fireflies and a jar on the end of it. Yeah. Let's say if you have a spear, you can, like poke. Go back to the dock, come out, poke again, back to the dock before they could retaliate. You know, just kind of kite them. Yep. Apparently, that's too violent. <laughs> but you're going to let me build a trap that gores them? That's fine. Go right ahead. That's children oh, wow. friendly. What the hell? Ugh. No, I don't like any of this. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, going on. Oh, hey, you're 70% of the way there, though. I'm also at, like, 10 HP. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Oh, we believe in God. you, don't we, Cat? Oh, throw the needle, mother- Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, what the hell? I'm... What was... Yeah, that was something. That was, like, damn near impassable or something. What the heck was that? Oh, oh is that scripted? I think that was a scripted. I think that was scripted. It's scripted, okay. My boat! <laughs> ah, and I can't use any of these other perfectly good boats sitting here. Well, it's a good thing you put schematics and stuff on the, uh, on the dog. Give me these saplings. I'm gonna need all of these. Quincy Collie. Welcome to Angel Yard. Looking a mite soggy there, friend. That raft's pretty much done for. Yeah, but I made it. Made it? Can't say you made it much of anywhere. Look around. 
Radio said head here. Don't know much about that. Just old buildings, junk, a mess of wild animals. You mean to head inside? I'd strongly advise against it. Better take a peek at the... Well, all right. It's your funeral. <laughs> that gate behind me? Bunch of hungry critters back there. Some old junk farther back, I guess. Maybe that's what you're looking for? Reckon so. Ain't gonna stop you, but you best be ready for a fight. I seen snakes, wolves, and bears roaming around back there. Appreciate the tip. <laughs> seen enough lost to bolt this in my time. Hope you live to tell the tale. He has so many wrenches and hammers. I'm gonna throw them all. I'm a crazy hammer wrenching man. There ain't no dodgeballers left alive today. I made sure of that. Your name is tattooed on his arm. was a place just north of him that you could scavenge it looked like. Yeah, but the, 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 he was saying there's uh, animals in there. Which is why I'm Oh, no, no, like that little workbench right there. I mean, there's a workbench. Oh, okay. That It is a workbench. I thought it was something you could... Uh... Okay. I thought it was something you could uh, sort through. The kid... Cannot wait. If I'm right here, can I do it? <laughs> Does this still count as my boat? Can I store stuff in the? Yes, I can. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's eat some of this yucca. Okay, let's do this. Leroy! Leroy, stick to the plan! Stick to the plan! It's a red rocket gas station. Oh my god, you can get a rocket... Okay, excuse me. Are you getting on a rocket ship to get the rest of the way? You not need to find 12 cans of jet fuel in order to take off. But don't worry, there are 14, so you can miss two. Ride of the Valkyries starts playing. It's that was like what that, that was. Uh, yeah. Like that last mission left for dead where someone's got to stay behind with the jet for the generators. Oh, look at all these sap. You know what? <sighs> okay. Hello, Inquisitor Dragon. Okay. We're almost 
almost there. We can do this. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah, chat's yelling us that it's yucca. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Oh, that's a lot of wolves. Oh, it's very big. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I don't think they're going to run away. Ah! Ah, no! Back! Are you giving the wolf to- Are you giving the wolf- Oh my- Ah! Uh -huh. Are you giving the wolves dis- Dis- Dysentery with that? That tainted meat? Ah, where's my bandages? No! God damn it! <laughs> Why is that old man yelling and throwing wrenches? I'm just gonna watch this little girl die, I think. Okay, now you can come for me. Bring it on. I've got my death trap maze. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was weird. Hey, the dog's on the, the, yeah, the wolf's on the blood splayer there. Yes, that's right. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yes, that's what I needed. A wrench. No, I needed a feather so I could make another arrow. Uh -huh. Oh, my tainted bait didn't get used up. That's great. Saplings. Inventory full. Okay. Yeah. Uh, taking this. Yeah, more bandage, baby. Taking this slow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it. Yep, inch your way through. Okay, so I need. Let's do another spear trap. Let's do an arrow. And let's box the rest of this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Dark Steel kinda is in danger there, uh Harper. I'm gonna die, maybe. Possibly, most likely. You know what? I'm going to make one more arrow just so I can kill that snake so I can get the water.
be a snake. Fox. Those glowing barrels are not concerning whatsoever. So I got some more cattails or saplings right there. Oh, this is a lot of saplings. It's almost as if they're you're coming up to a boss room or something and they're loading you up with ammunition and hell. You know what? I don't I I'm just gonna shoot that snake. I don't wanna deal with it. set up some of the spear traps right here. In anticipation for running? Yeah. Good call. Good call. Because you could take them down and remake them like, what, two or three times, I think you two said? Two or three times, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing. And one more. Okay. Oh. That's a bear. That's a big bear. Got them arrows left? Everybody say hi, Diggs. Hi, Diggs. Oh, no. Oh. No, 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 no. Back there. No, 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 no. Stop dodging the frickin' trap, you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. Did you get it? Okay, you got it. <gasps> Except, ah, uh, now I gotta go. Give me I that. hurt. Yeah. He just kept dodging around the trap. <laughs> you jerk. I'm wise to your game, mortal. Now I gotta limp all the way back just to make a bandage. You thought you could defeat me? I am a bear. Ow. <laughs> okay. Discard that. So I got, you know what, let's, yeah, let's. Let's just make sure I've got at least enough. Okay, let's put that there. Can I make any more bandages? Yes, but that's my last alcohol. Okay. So hopefully that's the last thing in this place. Don't jinx yourself. It's going to be a super bear next. And 
And there's a boar over there. Of course there is. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, look at the pig. Give me a pig. That's what you get. <laughs> That gives me just enough to make a replacement trap. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Except I don't got enough rope. Okay. Of course. A jar a boar hide, and some grubs. It's always worth it, isn't it? And now you got that fancy pop machine next to it, too, to check out. Okay, so there's nothing over there. I always, I, uh, I always do that, uh, the, the meme, towards like, oh, the objective's right there? Okay, I gotta go check everything else first. I mean, yes, fair enough. Okay. Usually I've got like a treasure nose where it's like, okay, I'm presented with a path. Uh, let's go this way. And it's usually the path that's not the exit, but always leads to like, you know, the treasure. Check note. It takes a long time to read this note. I bear unfortunate tidings, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping, I hope you're dead. <laughs> you probably is. Rockets are dead. Ain't no way off this world. Not no more. No use crying about it, neither. There's a place for you. The kingdom offers salvation for all left behind. Head south to the sea. That's what That's what you'll find. That's where you'll find it. It says that's what you'll find. Oh. Oh, salvation. That's what you'll find. Yeah. New goal. The kingdom. Yeah, no. Get out of my pants, you stupid ants. Actually, what are my... Eat ten grubs. I haven't found ten grubs. Well, you found a grub, at least. Up, oh, where'd, where'd the old man go? I fixed your boat. Yes, he did. It's a Cadillac now. <laughs> Look who's here. Do you had sand? What, what, what? Even took the liberty of patching up your raft. <laughs> Find what you were after? Found this note. Mentions the kingdom. Oh, yeah, that place is wild and squirrely. That old cock and bull story? Not the sort of thing I put much stock in. Tall tale, I'd wager. Helps folks sleep at night to think there's a better life. Better life? What is this better life, it's sir? supposed to be some place where people are still living, being decent to each other. Plenty of food to go around, nobody's sick or prone to fractiousness. Might far-fetched, you ask me. Don't buy none of it. Rather stay put here. Lead a simple life. Reckon it's you worth a watching. look. That guy has a mighty beard, though. It does. It is. Quite the survivalist with that beard. See, that's that's his emergency rope supply right there. <laughs> the beard? Yeah. Maybe. And even then, he'd be hesitant to use it. In any situation. Uh-oh. Suit yourself. Stay as long as you want, though. Always nice to have a pup around. Lost mine ages back. Still miss her something fierce. Oh. Now, the thing is, the way he says that, you don't know if he's talking about the actual dog or you. Fair. But still. 
I miss my little pooch. That, that was actually a great reveal in Zombie Land. <laughs> Where the kid kept thought kept thinking the guy was actually talking about a dog and then it revealed it was like no it was just the dude's pet name for his son look at his arm yes look at the arm of the old man it said scout amongst other things as well I see a snake snake a snake right there coiling around his arm along with a ribbon Now the question is, did he fix my... Oh, oh he did. We're fully repaired. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Darksteel, do you know any snake facts? Um. No. <laughs> well, I know that snakes are prone to not play guitar, mostly because they do not know how to tune them. Uh, I know that they don't stop growing, or well, at least some of them do. I think the python never stops growing. And they don't stop growing? And they don't stop growing? And they don't stop growing, and they don't stop growing, and they don't stop growing, and they don't stop growing. Are you just going to pass up that? Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I don't have anything to use over there right now. All right, fair. Pranaya's refuge. Light on supply. Um. What the heck? I shouldn't be here. <laughs> There are too many bones. There are far too many bones. <laughs> They're all your bones. You know what? I'm picking these ball berries. We're gonna get out of here. You're thirsty. Perhaps some water? Okay, I see a rabbit. Captain Enos. Captain Enos had himself a few mills along the river and liked to survey them all from his big boat. From this big boat. He owned. After need dried up and his factory shut down, he saw the water start to he saw the water start to clear over time and felt right guilty about his part dirty in it. When the eggheads told it was past time for this place, he abstained to pardon on general principles. Didn't seem right to use up a world and throw it away. I mean, I mean it sounds like a captain of principles. Sounds like a decent man. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. You can't have a spear, but you, but you can watch lynching a rabbit. You're not gonna take the meat. I have too much. Ah, you can never have too much meat. What the hell are you talking? Okay, I need to sleep. Yes, that is what I need. Mm. 
what did you think of the Men in Black cartoon? Because we were talking about that earlier. Yeah, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. Um, wasn't bad. I did enjoy it. Um, I think I did enjoy it a little bit more when Jay finally got the silencer for the noisy cricket and didn't throw him all over the goddamn place when he fired it. That was an interesting attachment. Uh, I mean, it actually, you know, made him useful in a fight, basically. Because, yeah, I, I get it. it. It's it's a tiny gun, but has an enormous recoil and kickback. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. But it can only be taken so far, though, at times. But I do like how they kind of swung around and picked up some stuff from the movie. I'm pretty sure they touched base on the movie a couple of times. I mean, it was a direct continu- well, wait, no, it wasn't a direct continuation off, because- It was a soft continuation, because obviously J and K were there, and then also L was along for the ride. Yeah. Then the episode where they had to go underwater, so they mutated Jay. Yeah, yeah, he was always like a guinea pig too, like that, wasn't he? It's like, oh, wait, what do I gotta get mutated? It's like, I've mastered my breathing to where I only need to breathe X amount of... Yeah, I also think uh, the cartoon series, while, yes, took elements from the movie, also mostly was based off the comic series, I think. I think Men in Black was originally a comic series. I don't know that off the top of my head. What did you think of Evolution? Uh, I actually never watched Evolution, really, to be honest. I, I recently watched the actual movie. Like yeah, a, oh yeah, I've seen the movie a couple of times, yeah. And I'm like, wow, my first instinct would have backfired horribly. Oh, to set them on fire. Oh, right, yeah. No, you, you need a head and shoulders. You need a head and shoulders. They paid the most for that product placement. <laughs> the uh, I watched a little bit of the cartoon. Uh, it was kind of interesting. Uh, like I, I guess, never watched much of it, yeah. Yeah. I just remember the cool chemical backpack where he was constantly having to mix a new solution to melt the uh, the alien things because they would always adapt to the previous solution. They would always evolve. Yes. Uh, uh. Yeah, I know that's terrible. <laughs> okay, put that, that there. And then... Uh, did you ever watch uh, I think it was on Toonami it was that weird anime with the the samurai in the modern day times Samurai Jack no 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 uh, it was an anime it was like it was like a Power Rangers team type deal and they could all give their power to the guy with the red armor and he would turn into the guy with the white armor Ooh, I'm not sure. I there was a chat. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. So there was a big length of time where it could be Ronin Warriors. Could be Ronin Warriors. So there was a big length of time it, that I didn't watch Tsunami because I didn't have cable at that time. I don't know if it was actually on Tsunami. I just remember it, it watching it briefly and then it disappearing. I could never remember the name. Could never find it again. Okay, yeah, we got a couple people saying either Ronin Warriors, also known as Samurai Warriors, so that could be it. Probably what it was. I remember Samurai Cyber Squad, which was one of Saban's, uh, some, another one of Saban's, uh, you know, take the Japanese footage and make a superhero show out of it. I kind of like that one. Wish I had the toys from that one. Okay, okay, Rapids. I will conquer you. <laughs> oh, nope. 
Okay. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah, I remember Big Bad Beetleborgs. That was, again, another one. Of, that was probably Saban's I, second most successful brand. I, uh, I remember it, but looking back on it, I didn't remember it nearly as well as I thought I did. Mm -hmm. But I love the... Jay Leno ghost? Gen yeah, was he a genie or a ghost? It was a ghost. He was a he was a ghost because they were because it, 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 well, he was like a genie and a ghost really, uh, because yeah he did have magical powers but he was also a ghost but like also just you know like the universal uh, public domain monsters lived in that house Frankenstein's monster the werewolf yeah because. I always I remember the first episode where like oh they want to be the big bad field works and he sticks them in the comic and they're panicking. <laughs> yeah, then he takes them out of the comic. Yeah, and I'm like I'd be panicking too. <laughs> Dude, that was a goosebumps episode. I'm pretty sure. Maybe All where right. someone gets trapped in a comic. Okay. Uh, Samurai Pizza Cat's that that was an interesting show in of itself. Be the history behind that one, I can't remember all of it off the top of my head, but a lot of it was like uh, a lot of it was Japanese humor based. So there was a bit to redo uh, when they did bring that over to the U.S., which is why they and even then, like like the original show itself also did fourth wall breaking too. But uh, yeah, Pizza Cats, I watched a few episodes of that. Yeah, VR Troopers. Again, another Saban show. Uh, and again, the reason most of those shows fail is because, I mean, uh, not necessarily fail, but were canceled is because in, Sab in Saban's eyes, you know, they ran their they ran their purpose and couldn't find any more footage to use for the show, so Candid moved and just kept on with Power Rangers because that was a big cash cow. That was going strong. Let's see. 90s, mid 90s, there was a space robot anime on WB. Space. Any more information you can give me there, Captain Intel? What? Uh, on WB? Yeah. I know, like, WB would just get, a, like, one of those occasional, like, animated movies that they would just show, but. Well, kids, well, kids WB, if we're going for that, uh, they were the ones that blew up with Pokemon. Or at least after UPN dropped Pokemon. I mean, yeah, there was Zoids, but that was more Toonami. Uh, yeah, Exo Squad. That was another Dude, show. I loved Zoids. Yeah, Exo I loved... Squads. But yeah, I've, I've got quite a few Zoid models myself. I never really watched the show. I just like the big robot animals. I mean, I liked that too, but like, I liked. Specifically, the both anime, like the the zero, the one with the liger, with the yeah, changing liger, armor yeah. and all that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like that was a cool tournament st type deal, and then they did like a prequel, which was like when it was an actual war, and that one actually lasted the longest. Like that, gosh dang, that one was a long one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What was your favorite um, uh, Dino Robot? <laughs> I mean, of like the two episodes I saw of Zoids. Okay, I've seen three episodes of Zoids. Two of them were the same episode. <laughs> but uh, which was like during the race, and I remember that. Be and I remember it because the robot announced was like, and "Here are the fuzzy pandas" or whatever, and that that caused the Zoids to like freeze up because they were like yellow bears or something like that. Oh, the uh, the saber to the what oh, were they? What yeah. were they called? They were like the yellow saber tooths or whatever. They were the yeah, something like that. But they called them something completely different. But uh, and then another episode I remember seeing was with the Berserk Fury, the uh, like white Tyrannosaurus that just had like that giga cannon when he opened his mouth. Yeah. But uh, I probably like the Ultrasaur, which was the giant Ultrasaurus, Brontosaurus dude. Yeah. I think you were watching the, uh, it sounds like you watched an episode from each of the series. Yeah, like I said, I've seen three episodes. Two of them were the same. <laughs> and it was just, it had to be just be like a couple years apart. I saw them where I saw that same episode twice. Like, God damn it.
at this point, I'm just like, I'm like, I got food, I got water. I'm just heading down the river. I'll call him like, just enjoying my time going through the bayou. Do, 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 do. Where's my two harp? Way more than way more, way more, way more, way more, way more, way more. That'd be an awesome band, a Jew harp and a slide whistle. See, I want a banjo rendition of Diggy Diggy Hole. Like a, like a hillbilly prospector's. Hmm. Tool Wheel is wondering if this river will ever end. That's why it's called Endless River Tours. This is the campaign mode. There is an end, but there's also a challenge mode towards how far down the river can you get. And it's literally, there is no end to the river. It's just how many miles down the river can you get before you die. There is, an, and there is a metal version of Diggy Diggy Hole, apparently. I've seen that one, and I, I wasn't impressed with that, but, uh... Hey, Chunk. Wasn't bad. I barely, Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I barely That's missed close. those logs. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I got some pit stops coming up. All right. But do I want to take them? I'll take a look. Yeah, because these are all wilderness. They're all light on supplies. I'm like, I need, very specifically, I need old timber at the moment. Like, I'll take some saplings, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm not even sticking around for that. That that That's a pack of wolves. I'm just not dealing with it. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. You can't make me. Oh, maybe you got him. Why would I need to? I don't know. Just because. I need I need old timber and it, like I can't. I don't. I've not found any in the wilderness areas. Then maybe try the urban areas where the trees have fallen. But none of those have come up in a while. Oh, okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, ow. I'm not even going to try it. That's, I'm not going into the rapids with all those small rocks that I'd have to weave between. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's just not worth it. Maybe we can make sausage out of it. And then there's logs clogged up on the dock right over there. Boo. Logs could be made into wood, though. Ah, I wish. That was, that was one complaint I had. I'm like, why can't I use the actual why can't resource? I have a, can't you have an axe? Because this is a Girl Scout. What would she need an axe for? She's a Girl Scout. She knows exactly what to use an axe for. We're gonna go to this campsite up here and see if it's got some lumber. Wouldn't be prudent. Nah, I got it out. Uh, we're gonna have to wrap this up soon. Oh yeah. We are coming up on time, aren't we folks? Oh. Rap schematic, alright. Oh, there's a puppy. The Elder Wolf. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Some... That wasn't actually very threatening. It was just as threatening as a regular wolf. Well, surprise, he's now a bloody mess. Was that truly the elder wolf, though? Supposedly. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess he could have just painted himself. Ah, yes, I am the elder. Yes. Inventory is full. How dare it? Ugh. Schematics were what we were missing at, like, the beginning of the river, and now it's we have too many. Like, we literally have a full stack and, like, a half. And you can't update your raft, can you? No, I need raft frames, which I need old timber for. Well, now you're just talking yourself in circles. We need Eddie Van Halen so we, uh, to get good. But to get good, we need a, our... To get Eddie Van Halen, we need a triumphant video. To get make a triumphant video, we need to be good. <laughs> Excellent. You watch uh, the uh, Bill and Ted movies? Years ago, I think I've seen the first one. You haven't watched all of the Bill and Ted movies? No. And now that they're a trilogy, I probably should. The third, the third one's good. Like I was not disappointed with it. Is it the best one? No, not nearly. But I was like, for how long it took for them to make that movie, I was not actually disappointed that they made it. it you weren't disappointed with it being a common redredging up of an old IP, basically. Yeah. Which some movies have fallen into that. that. Eat the wood? Okay. No, 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 no. Not the wood. The other stuff. The, what do you call them? The leaves. That's it. Eat the leaves. Okay. I guess we're gonna stop here because... Alright. Yeah, it is... Almost seven. Like I'm gonna make this water filter. We are gonna actually. When did we last save? Do I need to? Uh, I don't think we saved once since we started playing. Well, except it, it, for the it except auto for the save. Oh, yeah, save. But you can always force a save because you never trust auto save. I actually don't know how to force a save. Like literally, it, it it's a checkpoint system. So that, uh, there we go. It's saved. There you go. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining us here on the WPPL 76. We hope our um, uh, inane ramblings were mildly entertaining to you. Uh, Striker, thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. You are the first returning guest since um, uh, Bowser, who helped me set up the whole thing to begin with. Wonderful, wonderful, yes. Yes. Um, so, once again, uh, I need bones, so please call me when you need a body disposed of. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, the schedule, what happens on, on the scheduling. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Everybody, have yourself a good night. Uh, I believe we're doing the interview this weekend yep. uh, for the uh, Tech Talks Battle Tech. Crow will be playing. What was it? The captain? Something? Something captain in like an hour. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Percy Flush invades us once more. Yes. Yeah. Diggs. Diggs has lost his spot until Crow finishes this game of his. Loss but then again, Diggs has offered. like three different uh, time slots, so it's no big loss. All right. Well. 
once again, thank you for joining us, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Once yeah, again, take it easy, everybody. Farewell. <laughs>